105.9 FM and streaming worldwide on the WMAL app. O'Connor and Company. It's 836. Thanks for starting your day here in Washington with O'Connor and Company. It's been our pleasure. Larry O'Connor alongside Mercedes Schlepp. Mercedes, what do we say about our next guest? I mean, he's a Hollywood actor. He's been in some great films. Of course, the series Hercules. Now he's a children's book author. But honestly, the best thing that he's got going for him is he gets to call Sam Sorbo his wife. I was going to say, you just took it out of my... Honestly, Seriously, that's amazing. I, I mean, was going to say, it's really Sam Sorbo. rarely jealous of a man, but Kevin but Sorbo... But we love Kevin, too. He's, thanks for joining us. They're both amazing. They're a great couple. That's good to be here. Thanks for having me on, guys. So your book is called The Bare Essentials of Fatherhood. This is one of those great, brave books, uh, children's books. And it's about Moby the Bear uh, sort of learning in an interesting way about how important fatherhood is. Uh, I I love the concept here. Tell us about it. Well, it's a perfect timing for it, isn't it? Because not only Father's Day coming up shortly, it's it's the month for for fathers. I'm still a little confused why Pride gets a month and Mother's Day and Father's Day and our vets get one day. But I'll figure that out eventually, maybe. Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's a wonderful movie, what these guys, uh, I mean, wonderful, um, you know, book of what Brave Books is doing. Go to bravebooks.com to get more information on the amazing work that they're doing, the things they're putting out to you know, really ins- ins- instill moral values into kids between the ages of 4 and 11, and they do such a wonderful job with it. And do you think that our culture right now, and it's funny, that one of the characters is called Vulture the Culture, or Culture the Vulture, I should say, who sort of plants these seeds in Moby's head about um, how no one appreciates him and what he does as a father. But there really is, in our culture, I think, sort of a a lack of appreciation for fathers. It's, it's you know, you, you turn on any television commercial and the father is always depicted as an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they love doing that. Look, they've been doing it in sitcoms for decades where the dad's kind of chunky, overweight, and then mom's a babe, and the teenage kids just make fun of dad. He's like this useless idiot in there. And, uh, you know, they do it over and over again. It's on purpose. They want to, you know, destroy the family unit. Government wants full control of everybody's lives from cradle to grave. And what's the best way to do that? Well, let's just let's disrupt the family unit and they say it's not important. And it's certainly working on the left. I mean, they, you know, the vast majority of uh, people on the left don't even want to have kids. They don't want to have marriage or kids. And I, I think the, uh, the the downfall of the family unit is part of the downfall of America, let alone the, um, you brought up my wife's name, um, Sam, uh, the downfall of education, which she speaks on all the time. And I'm in She's total agreement with that, things yeah. that she's fighting for. Yeah. yeah. Now, your book is with Brave Book, um, uh, th- which they've partnered with you in basically, uh, you know, I think, we're, we're looking at what you and Sam, I, I think it's so important. One of the things that we're missing in our society is this ability of, of really building strong men. Because what is the liberal, what have they, the left have, have done? They have basically made it into toxic masculinity if you're standing right. strong as a man, if you're there to protect your family. When you're, um, I, I know you have a son. What is your advice to your son as you, you know, as, as your son continues, you know, I know he's also pursuing acting in terms of saying, Look, fatherhood is a beautiful thing. You know, it's an, an uh, it's wonderful. I know it sounds like it's stressful, which it is at times. But I mean, what is your advice to young men today? Um, don't have don't don't let government control your lives. Don't let fear control your lives. And listen to this craziness that's going on there. I got two boys. Both of my boys, they're twenty two and twenty. They're big. They're strong. They're full men. I love them. But both of them, when they go to the gym to work out, they wear shirts like embrace masculinity and. Uh, um, fatherhood is the future and things like this. So I love the fact they're not afraid to put themselves out there and try to cut some common sense into people. But, you know, it, it once again, it just starts back everything from, you know, grade school all through universities now, the insanity of what's going on. I saw Bill Maher say a couple months ago, don't send your kids to American universities because this craziness and indoctrination of them is uh, has been very highly successful. But, look, we took the Bible out of the schools in 1964, and it's been a slippery slide since. And our school systems have failed us miserably. Um, I always look at what uh, the Bolshevik Revolution, what did Lenin say? He said the best way to control a population is through education. And that's what our country is doing right now. And the fatherhood is one of those first things to get attacked. I, I saw the manifesto from BLM, and one of the top things in their manifesto was to disband family units and mm. disband, get rid of God, get rid of all those things. I mean, what's the first thing our government did during COVID? It said that church isn't essential. Our government which was founded by Christian forefathers, our, our Constitution, our Bible brings us our laws. I mean, it's crazy what we're doing to the world right now, and people are falling under it. 
Our guest is Kevin Sorbo, and I, I always like to reflect on uh, the culture in Hollywood and how the entertainment industry affects so much of the daily conversation. Uh, you know, there was a time when Hollywood, you know, Jimmy Stewart and John Wayne and Buddy Epson and, you know, the actors, male actors embodied this rugged American spirit and they, you know, stood for the great values that our nation stands for. You're in their mold, Kevin Sorbo, but these days in Hollywood, your kind of belief system, what you stand for, it's not welcome. But I, I got to say, you have been able to carve out a brand new Hollywood model. You're able to make films, make money doing them, and still maintain your values and principles. That's 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 really a new development because the studios aren't in charge as much as they used to be, right? No, they're not. I mean, things are changing quickly, obviously, with technology and, you know, Netflix and Amazon, but now independent movie producers like myself, um, you know, we're fighting back. I think the best compliment I've ever gotten, I've heard from a number of different people through the years, is saying that I'm the modern-day Gary Cooper. Well, I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that and carry that. That's an, that's an honor to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep making the movies that Hollywood doesn't make. I've got a, two movies coming out in August. One's called uh, the the, uh, the Firing Squad, True Story Set in Indonesian Prison. The other one is the Ronald Reagan movie. I played the pastor to uh, Ronald Reagan, and it played by uh, Dennis Quaid. And oh, great. I've just been honored to be part of these wonderful movies, and I'm going to keep making the kind of movies that Hollywood used to make. Hollywood's hurting themselves over and over again with this woke agenda, and Hollywood they booted are. me out over a decade ago. So I'm, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But I love that we conservatives who had worked in the entertainment business, we're not whining about it. We're just saying, oh, fine, we're going to do our own thing. And I, I can't wait to see that Reagan movie. That trailer looks phenomenal. So, Kevin, great work as always. And the new book, it's just in time for Father's Day. It's called The Bare Essentials of Fatherhood. It's with Brave Books. Get it. And let's celebrate fathers. We need them now more than ever. Thanks, Kevin. Yep. Two, two great things. Go to SorboStudios.com and also go to BraveBooks.com as well. All the information's right there. There you go, Sorbo Studios, that's easy, Sorbo Studios.